Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video. iOS 16 has been here for a week now, of course, on its first beta, and it has a lot of new features and changes. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 new features and changes that you will find on iOS 16. Now, before we get into all that, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting things off with the first feature you know that on ios you will be able to actually now delete stock apps that come pre-installed with your iphone well now you can delete more of those with ios 16 you will have the ability to delete the health app the clock app and the find my app so if you have an alternative for those or you just don't use them you want to remove them from your device now you will have the ability to do that so you can just not just remove them from the home screen but completely delete them from your device there is a totally new interface when you record a voice memo and you lock your device. So you can see this, it will take up the entire screen of your device. This is really interesting. Now with iOS 16, you know that Apple has introduced live activities. I don't know why they don't have one for the voice memo app. They probably will update this in the future, but for now it will take up the whole screen with this interface, as you can see right here. As you probably know, on iOS 16, now you can mark messages as unread. But did you know that if you have a contact on your home screen as a home screen widget, it will now notify you if you have an unread message from that contact. You can see I have it here and it says unread message. That's really, really useful. Actually, if you have some important contacts, you will always be notified if you have any messages unread from that contact. Here is another iOS 16 iMessage feature. If you get an image from someone on iMessage and you tap on it, you will now get this new interface here to save the image, but you have new options as well. So if I tap on that little arrow, you can see I can share the image from here. It will show me the image type and the size of the image. I can save it as an image or to files from here, which is really interesting. Now, if I tap right there, of course, I will get all the options that we used to get but if I just go ahead and tap on save image right here, I can just go ahead and just do, just save it to the camera roll without having to go to the share menu. There's also a new interface when you're trying to save files from Safari to the files app. So if I just try to save this image from here, you can see I can tap here, save to files, and now it will show me this new interface. So you can see the name right here of the item. I can tap to add text to this item from here, or I can tap here and I can change, rename the name of the file directly from here before I go ahead and save it on my device. This is really, really cool. Another really cool thing that you can do with Safari now is that if you have basically an app which you can install from a website, so if you're on a website where there is an, basically they offer an app, you can just go ahead and install it from here. So I already have this app, but let's just try it and delete this app and you will see how this works. So if I don't have the app installed on my device, I can now just go ahead and install it directly from here without Safari having to redirect me back to the app store. Here is another great Safari feature. If you see an image on a website, you can tap and hold on it and tap on show text. Now what this does, it will show you this interface right here where of course it recognizes the text using the live text feature and you can copy the text directly from there or you can even do a markup there which is really, really cool. Now this is new with Safari on iOS 16 which actually makes this super, super useful. On iOS 16, on the Photos app, if you select a bunch of photos like this and you want to do an action on them, maybe like hide them or something like that, you don't have to reach for the share button. All you have to do is just sweep the touch on them just like that. And you can see how it gathers those photos together. And I can go ahead and maybe copy them or hide them or add them to an album directly from here or which is another new feature, adjust the time and date and adjust the location for this group of photos. So you don't have to do that individually. You can do this for all these photos together. Another new feature, which I cannot exactly show right now, is a feature for the low battery alert. So whenever your iPhone battery drops, let's say you have your iPhone locked at 21%, it will drop like at 18 or 17. You unlock your device, it says that your iPhone battery has dropped down to 20%. Now with iOS 16, it actually shows you the exact percentage at which your iPhone's battery has dropped. 
And what you can see right here, my wallpaper, these are the only wallpapers on iOS 16 that actually have a dark mode. So whether you use the stock new wallpaper of iOS 16 or whichever one you use, they don't actually have a dark mode. So let me just show you that. So you can see right here, if you go to collections, you will find the dynamic wallpapers, which of course you can customize and change between different colors. And these are the only ones that actually offer a dark mode for iOS 16. Hopefully Apple will update that, of course, with more dark mode wallpapers. There is also a new option if you go to settings general, and then you go to software update. If you have automatic updates turned on, then you will see this option right here, install system and data files. So with having this enabled, of course, it will show you the description right here. Now what this does, so basically it says that updating to the latest iOS version might, might include automatic updates to security configuration and system data files. Some updates may only take effect once you have restarted your iPhone. So you can enable or disable this right here from the automatic updates section. With iOS 16, you know that Apple has now added the ability to finally lock your hidden photos with your face ID, and that's really useful. But it will also lock the recently deleted photos, that's really good as well. Now you can switch that off if you don't wanna have that feature, if you don't wanna have those folders locked by going to settings photos, and you have here use face ID, so, Fortunately, when someone tries to do this, they will have to actually authenticate with Face ID before they can switch this feature off. So if you just don't wanna have that feature, then you will be able to find it right here. Now let's move on here to privacy and we have another interesting new setting. So if you go to privacy and you go to location services, you will have here something called astronomy. Now what this is, these are the wallpapers, the astronomy category of wallpapers that Apple has introduced with iOS 16. And you can choose here whether you want those wallpapers to choose to actually use your location. Of course, you will have different options here when I share while using the app or while using the app or widgets. So if you just want to do that, then it will always have your location. There is also a new interface for Siri when you're using Shazam with Siri. So if you ask Siri to recognize a song, you will see a new interface now. Which song is this? And there it goes, you can see the new interface, which actually is different when you go to the light mode. It will look a bit different, so let's just try it once more here. Which song is this? And you can see there the light mode interface, it actually looks pretty cool. There is a possibility that we will get more new Apple apps on iOS 16, and one of them can be found on the Shortcuts app. Now this is really interesting, this is like a hidden app. If you go to Shortcuts and you create a shortcut to open an app, you will see a new app on the list. So when you select the app you want to open, we have now something called Batteries. Now when you run this shortcut, all it does, it basically just shows you this blank page and it says hello world and if you just go to the app switcher you can see the app is here it says batteries but it's, there's nothing on it hopefully this is an app that is basically a work in progress and we might see it on ios 16. let's move back to the settings app and let's go to focuses right here now if you have a focus mode turned on or you want to create a new one now you can choose the lock screen as well as home screen directly from here now it used to be home screen pages now you can choose whichever of your lock screens you want to use with that focus mode from here now what you can actually do is also tap on choose from gallery and create a totally new lock screen directly from here while you're creating or enabling a new focus mode on the notes app, if you tap right here, you will have here the new icons to scan, pin, and lock. Now, if I tap on lock right here, you can see it will require me to enter the lock notes password, but of course, you can also lock these with the passcode that you use to unlock your device, which is really cool, and that's a really neat feature to have. Now, you can enable that if you don't have it enabled by going to notes, go to password right here and enable, use face ID if you wanna use face ID, and also use device password, which actually allows to use the device's passcode to lock any of your notes. On the Books app, we have some new features as well. So you will have a new interface here that shows you how much you have read. You will have the orientation lock right here and you can mark 
up a uh, actually a book right here and you will have the share button as well so you will have other app options down here there is also a widget for the books app even though it doesn't work that good it takes quite a long here to actually update but you have now a books widget which actually you can have in three sizes the medium the small and the bigger one new on the weather app as well the ability to add up to 50 different cities on the list I don't know why someone would need that, but it was 20, now the limit is 50 different cities. And last but not least, head on to your settings, general, go to about, and when you tap on the iOS version, you will now see this new interface right here that shows about this update, and of course it gives you more details regarding the update that you have currently installed on your iPhone. So that is it for this video guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like in this one if you enjoyed it, I'll see you guys on the next one.